in our relationship also when somebody behaves in a responsible way you develop trust in him and does something wrong you lose trust in him so finally everything is personal but still krishna doesn't want to get into our dabbling game one person trying to sit over another krishna is least interested in this game so he puts into the laws of karma where his personal intervention is not required it just happens by laws of karma okay yeah there is parmatma finally without a sanction nothing is happening but parmatma's heart is not there just like a judge sorry what he has done done death penalty sorry he is not crying or he is happy over it is done in a way impersonally but nothing is impersonal because finally lord sanction is there you want to be his boss he wants to be his boss how did it happen karma kiska punya jada hai oh you be on the sign not so but the heart is not there ma ha anumanta upadishta is overseeing everything is sanctioning everything that is the role of played by the parmatma in the heart so nar uh, this is a picture of indra indra is somebody collected more punya bali maharaj how did he get more punya by sincerely serving his guru shukracharya who was a pure brahmana so in one way he collected from him he has lot of tapasya he gave take and you understand when he follow somebody he will say oh very nice very nice means he is giving some punya take pocket becomes very nice. it's like you work in some office and the boss is satisfied he'll give you good salary keep similarly when he serve a great personality he can give you some punya take and bali maharaj got lot of punya and his pockets are full so full he purchase indra's seat and indra it is just like auction every moment indra's pocket was empty why his pocket was empty because he did not he neglected his own guru brahaspati thinking he is independent of his guru he is not independent of his guru uh, that is not practical and then the result is what result of all this drama is that bali maharaj has taken over the seat of indra in fact and indra ran away that is the external thing actually it's all the punya game going on bali maharaj landed with lot of soldiers and indra is not able to fight it's a punya game finally he captured and now indra all the devatas finally they have a duty of managing the universe and what does indra devatas do they go to brahma so how do you do a work now they are into trouble take okay. so what they do so brahma advises see indra what is all this you should not have done all this you neglected your own guru eh nadhanam na janam na sundari the three things should not give satisfaction to a person dhana means money jana means followers sundari means beautiful woman if somebody is feeling satisfied because he has these three these three things he'll never become serious in spiritual life because actual satisfaction comes from serving the lord but if something else is giving you satisfaction then why i have to serve the lord so that was the mistake of indra he was feeling some kind of satisfaction in having achieved a seat of power money and followers and beautiful apsaras he had all these privileges he thought ah my life is success and what the, therefore what is the job for a what is the job for a guru na suppose you go to a guru say how are you i'm fine say go are baba without his mercy without his guidance how he can be fine the so indra fell no oh, i'm achieved now what i wanted in my life yes guru said okay hare krishna <laughs> manage let us see he could not manage he lost everything you understand and now he has brahma advice so you need punya you see this punya papa game going so you go to vishrupa he has lot of punya and let him do some puja for you and you satisfy him he'll give you currency and by that currency you can win okay that is overall one side of the game other side of the game is that 
he advised him a mantra which is known as narayana kavacha mantra and it is composed of three four mantra which have been chanted one is om namo bhagavate vasudevaya then om namo narayana om vishnave namaha om asthaya phat then purification om pavitra pavitro va sarvavastam gavot opiya ya smaret pundari kaksham sa vahaya bahaya antara shuchihi shri vishnu shri vishnu in the vedic ceremonies for purification so anyway so he got some set of mantras and these mantras it is explained in the bhagavatam take okay, a one side of the punya game other side is the another game another level now this mantra acted these mantras the set of mantras acted like narayana kavacha huh? you everybody knows in mahabharata karna has had a kavacha kavacha these are all kavacha in the sense that in the vedic time you see the fight they were doing they were based on mantras these fights were not based on you know they could create weapons out of mantras they could protect themselves by mantra you may throw whatever at it you understand a subtle sign this is not gross it's subtle but today in kali yuga chanting this mantras require very proper consciousness and also proper meter even to chant om you can have to do some practice om oh, this is beginning <coughs> my throat is not well but there is lot of practice they do eh ah long this way om oh, like that as an oh pranava is a representation of the lord anyway so you feel some peacefulness but to properly chant this mantra it has to be done with proper faith and consciousness and it is not even given easily to the person only a guru will give to the disciple and tell him not to reveal this mantra to anybody you know that's how these mantras are given and uh, it is not considered good the person should be qualified to chant these mantras now here the situation has come for indra and vishrupa is instructing him chant like this chant like this chant this mantra touch this fingers touch here touch between eyebrows touch your shika chant this mantra chant me this mantra so why naam naam akari bahuda nij sarva shakti tatra pita niyamita smarane nakala एता दिशी तव कृपा भगवन ममापि दुर्दैव दुषम याज निनानुरागा द लॉर्ड्स ऑल पोटेंसीज आर देयर इन द मंत्र वी गिव द हरिनाम मंत्र टू एवरीबॉडी इन द बिगिनिंग एंड द हरिनाम इट्स ऑल इट्स सेल्फ इज पोटेंट अनफ टू टेक यू बैक टू गॉड दैट इज इन द भागवत विधि देयर आर टू विधिज वी आर फॉलोइंग व्हाट विधिज यू आर फॉलोइंग भागवत विधि एंड पंचरात्रिक विधि as far as the bhagavad vidhi is concerned anybody can chant the mantras you can publicly go and distribute na niyame na kalaha just like sometimes we were do we are sitting in the bus we are chanting hare krishna hare krishna some people come and say swami ji why you are wearing chappal while chanting names of the lord <coughs> they are right actually for chanting vedic mantras what chappal this is not the place to chant you cannot chant like that in a dirty place it has to be if you have to take bath you have to wear fresh clothes you have to do archaman and then chant you cannot just chant like that it's not allowed but chanting hari nama na niyame na kala you understand naam naam kari bahuda nij sarva shakti tatra pita ni tatra pita niyamita smarane na kala ha smarane na kala there is no time ha a no niyamas So there is no rules for remembering the Lord and chanting His names. When you're taking bath, also you can chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu determined basically when we are distributing this mantra in mass in public, we are not checking their qualification. Anything lying in the Veda that mantra cannot be given just like that. We cannot, we cannot, we don't distribute it like that. Uh, it is given confidentially by guru the disciple to chant you understand ha uh, so that is the that is the issue so how do how do we do it
Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said chant. There are more reasons for it. That is one of the reasons for it. And then when person has purified and he is uh, come to the platform of Satyaguna, because mantra, if you are chanting, just like the mantra Indra. Now, Indra is speaking some other kind of protection. He wants to win over the kingdom of uh, Indra Puri, which has been taken away by Bali Maharaj. But when we are chanting, our goal is that to purify the existence and to protect our heart from being contaminated by Rajaguda and Tamaguda. So we also chant. In the morning time, therefore, best is to finish 16 knots attentively. The whole day you get a kavacha. What kind of kavacha? That your heart should not be impinged by rasik and tamasik. Then effort is in that direction. Not that when you do shuddha nama, what protection? You get love of Krishna. You get everything. But you don't need shuddha nama. In the beginning when you are chanting, you are doing nama parada. Then next stage come nama bhasa. Next stage come shuddha nama. Okay, so in the different stages it is going on. So we should accept the process. And you begin, that is Bhagavad Vidhi. And as a period of time uh, goes on, and when it is seen, the person is becoming sattvic now. Sattvic mind, you see, his mind is calm, he is peaceful. Okay? Then he starts, adds the Gayatri Mantra, which are seven in number in our Sampradaya. Okay? The meditation on, there is one standard Kama Gayatri, two on Guru, two on Lord Chaitanya, two on Krishna. Then he chants the seven Gayatri Mantras. And then he gets permission to worship the deities. So that is the Pancharatri Gavidi. So Pancharatri Gavidi, Bhagavad Vidhi go together. Prabhupada used to say, just like a train goes on two wheels, therefore a spiritual life also should go on two wheels. Bhagavad Vidhi, Pancharatri Gavidi. And a person then progresses in spiritual life. Take it's an additional engine. In your rocket to back to Godhead, it's an additional engine. Okay? and which is put in a particular time. So here, well, we should not feel that if I am chanting Hare Krishna, it is not sufficient. It is sufficient in itself. Uh, Hare Naam, Hare Naam, Hare Naam, Eva Kevalam. It is sufficient to take you back to the Lotus Feet of Krishna. But the Goswami is determined that the people also, not only they do the Bhagavad Vidhi, should be involved in Pancharatrika Vidhi. Pancharatrika Vidhi is worshipping the deity, offering bhoga to the deity, doing arti for the deity. This is practical worship of the Lord. See, Bhagavad Vidhi is theoretical in that way. Pancharatrika Vidhi is practical. You are bowing down. As I explained to you, Shavadam, Kirtanam, Svanadam, Vandanam, Archanam. In the first three are Bhagavad Vidhi and rest four are Pancharatrika Vidhi. Okay? Pada Sevanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam. These are Pancharatrika Vidhi. So this also involves us to practically engage in Krishna's service with purification. Because you cannot touch the deity unless you are bathed and you are wearing fresh clothes. There are timings. In a temple, the deities, uh, the sevas should be maintained. Okay? So this is how uh, it helps. Uh, Pancharatarika Vidhi. And this is the instance of Indra trying to protect himself. But when we chant in the morning, we should see the chanting is attentive. Heart is purified and we experience Satyaguna and we are protected for the day. Huh? When a heart is satisfied, you don't look outside for enjoyment. Krishna Bahir Mukha Jeeva Bhogavan Chakare Chapatiya Maya Tare. So Krishna Bahir Mukha Jeeva, the movement, uh, somebody's heart is not satisfied with Krishna consciousness. We need satisfaction anyway. If your heart is not satisfied by Krishna consciousness, you look it's outside your heart for sense enjoyment. Even though it is fictitious, you are looking for it. Then what happens? Then Maya starts to work. You got it? If I look for enjoyment, then Maya has work to do. If I don't look for enjoyment, there is not, no work for Maya to do. Like Haridas Thakur was peacefully chanting the Hare Krishna mantra and in great pleasure. Maya Devi herself did all the gymnastic. He is not even looking at her for enjoyment. So therefore, Maya can't act on him. I explained this so many times. Suppose you don't want something. As much as you give an advertisement, it's no meaning for you. Correct? It's no meaning for you. Like Ekadashi yesterday. We are not interested in eating grain item. Somebody says, I got a cake, 200 rupees a kilo, very nice, this, no use. I'm not eating. So I'm not interested. 
whatever is may do i am not interested i don't want it over today they call she i don't need gas can i suppose you going the road there is a big hoarding oh special 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 just like we see the we have a restaurant here we have we don't eat bhoga whatever i had the put whatever you are not interested in it because you know we don't eat all those things right so moment you have a determination that actually you will be satisfied you want you know my hunger is there for happiness but i should give spiritual happiness to it a spiritual satisfaction then my hunger is satisfied then material happiness becomes irrelevant prajahati yada kaman sarva partha manogatan it only becomes an imagination of the mind and then my life becomes on a solid platform when we, when still we are hankering for sense enjoyment the foundation is not very good it is shaky in fact some devotee went to shila prabhat said prabhat on your order i follow the four regular principles but a mind keeps harassing prabhat said he can fall down because that's rajaguna tamaguna means doing sinful activities rajaguna i'm just giving you a simple thing rajaguna means you're not doing sinful activities but you're thinking about them you're not in satguna satguna means there is not even thoughts in the mind mind is fresh okay it make thoughts may come at a thinking level but they definitely they don't go to feeling and feeling level rajaguna body is pure but mind is impure satguna mind and body both are pure okay kshatriya and vaishyas then rajaguna and tamaguna also sometimes uh, vaishya is mixture of rajaguna i never understood how we classify no rajaguna it's all the via media you can take this call uh, something like a mixed mode hmm vaishya is called a mixed mode between rajaguna and tamaguna but critical analysis i am thinking how to do but this is clear so therefore uh, chanting this mantras should be done with, you know we have been given these are mantras given in different time and situation some yugas the mantra was om namo bhagavate vasudevaya and kaliyuga the mantra is hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इति षोडशक नाम नाम दी सिक्सटीन नेम्स कली कलमशनाशनम डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल द बैड इफेक्ट कल युग नाता परत रुपया देर इज नो बेटर वे सर्वेदेश देश ते फिस ऑल द वेद सो सीइंग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द वेद वी हैव टेकन टू चैन द हरे कृष्ण मंत्र इट इज नॉट दैट वी हैव सेलेक्टेड आउट यस्टर्डे वी आज डिस्कसिंग नो सम पीपल मेक अ खिचड़ी नाउ डेज सम नॉन सेंस दे क्रिएट अपसंप्रदाय and simply mislead innocent followers that is not our business our business is not to cheat any innocent person our business is chaitanya mahaprabhu says karo parokar prabhu used to say actually the business in india should not be that ha bharat hu ila janma ho yaar janma sarth kari karo parokar give them that's what the whole movement is trying what is the primary focus give to the public the holy names of the lord whatever we do because if they chant if they chant the holy names of the lord what will happen like indira is being protected by the narayana kavacha they are also will be protected from the all the dangerous contaminations of kalyuga a kalyuga is very contaminating you need a kavacha you are roaming around in public all people are generally addicted to sinful activities they are embarrassed by unwanted desires thoughts you can get contaminated by that correct so we need a kavacha so therefore more just like here when you hear this mantras are you so careful because you think oh these are powerful mantras parkal yuga the most powerful mantra is the hare krishna mantra hi ha hoite sarva siddhi tomar just by chanting this you can get sarva siddhi theek hai therefore probably many many times emphasize just chant this mantra all perfection will come theek hai so we should not that we stop at 16 not whenever we are free we keep chanting don't waste a second we do not know how much auspiciousness we are getting shanvatam sakata krishna ha punya shavana kirtana ha hridanto sti abadrani vidunoti susata when heart is purified then you can come to the next stage what is that yesham to andagatam papam jananam punni karmanam te dwanda moha nirmuktam bhajante maam dhiravata with full determination we can serve krishna unless the heart is purified you cannot do that theek hai and finally the goal of serving is the lord should be pleased sam siddhi haritoshana just like arjuna was a kshatriya but then 
he satisfied Krishna by his fighting. So whatever profession you are doing, the perfection of a profession will come, not by the public clapping, not by even government giving any award. Your perfection of profession comes by which if you satisfy the Vishnu. Some Siddhi Hari, Toshna. Otherwise it's useless. He's, he's a no meaning. Yeah, some claps you can get a fools. But you want a certificate from Krishna. Yes, Krishna says I am satisfied. Then your life is successful. Correct? One day we have to leave the body. But our leaving the body, Shri my Lord, are you satisfied? And Krishna smiles. Yes, over. Life is successful. Otherwise, waste. Srila Prabhupada ki. Shivan Bhagavatam ki.